How's it everybody? I hope you're all well. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. We're going to take a good look at this My Children, My Africa contextual question. So please feel free to pause the video and read the extract where Isabel invites Mr. M and Tommy to meet her parents. Just want to make these videos as quick and as effective as possible for you guys. So feel free to pause the video. So that being said, let us get into 4.1.1 joining column A and column B. Who is Isabel Dyson? She is a learner at Camp Dibu High, slightly more resource school. Who is Davi Khrobelar? He is the inspector of the Bantu schools. And who is Anela Mialatia? Oh, I really hope I pronounced that correctly. Uh, she's the principal of Zolile High and Tipo Fondini, grade 8 or grade 12 learner. This one's a little bit tricky. Uh, you had to really know the book here. Sipo uh, is a grade 8 learner. So 4.1.2, explain why Isabel refers to Thomas Hardy and Jane Austen in line 3. What's the reasoning here happening in line 3? Well, it's just because um, Mr. M has entered them for the literary quiz uh, at Grahamstown. He sent them in and these are examples of the novelists that they need to familiarize themselves with because it's all part of the literary quiz. They are the novelists in the quiz. I'm refer to lines 14 to 15, so lines 14 and 15 are here. What tone did Mr. M use in these lines? So of course we accept Isabel, it will be a pleasure and a privilege. He's, he's polite here and he's also very pleasant. So pleasant and polite possible answers. Why would Mr. M use a tone in these lines? Well, he's, he's excited, he's eager, and he's also humbled by the prospect of, well, meeting Isabel's parents. Very interesting. So he's, he's excited, he's, he's eager to meet them. Choose the correct answer to complete the following sentence. So write only the letter next to the question number in the answer book. So Mr. Dyson, Mr. Dyson owns a what? He owns a chemist. Yes, he had to know that little fact. 4.1.4. Uh, why does Tommy's mood change in line 22? So here's lines 22, sensitive to her all the way to Tommy. The reasoning for his change here is because Mr. M once again makes a decision without consulting Tommy. So he's just, he's not consulted by Mr. M. And you can kind of feel like this growing sense of animosity between the two of them. Why is the following statement false? Tommy stays with his parents in Brakwater. Um, that is false because he doesn't stay with his parents. That's a big no-no. He actually stays with his grandmother um, and married sister in Brakwater. So he stays with his, uh, with Gogo. Um, and where do his parents actually live? They live in Karpstad, they live in Cape Town. What does this extract reveal about Isabel's character? Uh, we gotta substantiate our answers here. So 4.1.6, Isabel, she's very gracious. She is just in general, a very polite kind of learner. Um, she's hospitable, she's thoughtful, and she's very excited at the prospect of her new friends coming to her house to meet her parents. Uh, 4.7, we have to discuss our view here. This is a very open-ended question. We can say yes or no. So do you admire Mr. M? So possible answers for your uh, admiration of him. So if we were to do with the yes answers first, well, yes, because Mr. M, he gives the name of the learners to the education department in the hope that they will return to school. He's fearless, even in the face of death, when he goes out to meet the mom. He brings together black and white learners in an attempt to foster good relations. So those are all possible reasons to like him. No, he... To an extent, he betrays his learners when he gives their names to the to the education department. He also refuses to join the boycott. And he also, to an extent, he doesn't allow Tommy to think independently. So those are possible reasons that you wouldn't like him. But yeah, nice little question here. 